If you love reading or you're just trying to do more of it, then we would love to have you join our May Readathon. This is the first official reading challenge hosted by the Bujo Buddies Book Club, and we're calling it the Goober Readathon, mainly because it was a working title and it's kind of stuck. The general aims of the Readathon are just to get in and enjoy your reading, maybe read a little bit more than you have previously, or kick off a reading habit that you're trying to start. Much like any challenge that I run, it is very chill, but we also like a little bit of competition. The Goober Readathon is a points-based challenge, so we have 25 different reading prompts, each with a different number of points tied to them. Easier prompts are worth one point, whereas harder ones are worth two or three, and there is no expectation to read a book for every single prompt. But if you do read a lot, then there are 25 prompts there for you. Personally, I will probably read five books, because that's pretty standard for what I'm able to do at the moment. <laughs> for each of the reads you finish in May, you associate them with one of the prompts to claim those points. Each space may only be claimed by one book, and each book may only claim one space. So even if one of your reads could count for multiple, you have to pick and choose which one it's going to be for. Along with the points that are tied to each of the prompts, there are also ways to earn bonus points. Two of the ways that you can earn bonus points are tied to the Bujo Buddy Book Club leaders themselves. So that is myself, Rachel of Rachel Bujo's, and Monica of Bibliophile by Night. If one of the reads that you finish falls under our favorite genres, then you can have a bonus point, regardless of which of the prompts you've tied them to. So for instance, if you finish a fantasy read, which falls under one of Monica's favorite genres, and you associate that read with a prompt that would initially earn you two points, you'll actually end up earning three. Along with being able to get bonus points for reading within our favorite genres, you can also score more bonus points for reading one of our favorite books. Each of the leaders of the Bujo Buddies Book Club has put forward five of their favorite reads, and if you read one of these books in particular, then you can earn double points for whichever prompt you tie it to. That means that if you have a prompt which would usually earn you three points, you'll actually get six points for that read. The other way to earn bonus points isn't so much tied to our book club leaders, but more so to the game board itself. If you complete any row, column, or diagonal that has five reads in it, then you can also score five additional bonus points, effectively one for each of the reads. Come the end of May though, once you've finished all of your reads, then you just have to tally up your points and see which of the tiers you manage to reach. The points you're collecting and the tiers that you reach are going to come in handy for our next readathon, which will happen next year. This is going to be an annual type deal. Of course, all of the information in this video can be a bit to remember, so we do have it in written and elaborated format in our readathon resources. There's a link to those in the description box. If you're eager to get involved though, we would love to have you participate. So how do you actually get involved? Well, this one is primarily run through our Discord in the Bujo Buddies Book Club space. You don't actually have to be part of the book club, and I mean, the book club is also free to join if you want to, but you're gonna wanna jump over into the Discord to get involved. While most of our conversation will happen in there, you are of course welcome to share it on Instagram if you want to with hashtag Gooberitathon. Otherwise though, it is just a fun challenge to do for yourself. As I said, I like to keep my challenges pretty chill. The readathon doesn't start until May, but some key dates that you might want to chuck down in your planner are that on May 4th, we have a self-led reading retreat. So it's just really an excuse to read as much as you want to on that day, shut yourself away from the rest of the world and get into your books. Personally, I'm going to be having the leaders of the Boudreau Buddies book club over. We're going to read for like 10 hours or something. Should be a good time. And our other key date is that we're going to have reading sprints happening on the 25th of May or 26th, depending on where you are. Stay tuned for the video watch page of that one and make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out. As said, we would love to have you involved, so your next steps are to jump into the Discord for that Goober Readathon chat space, and two, make sure to grab those resources for the readathon, including the game board print off, the elaboration on some of those prompts, and just a written out version of all of the rules. If you are looking for more reading journal related content though, then this playlist is the next one to check out. That one has all of our reading related videos, whether they be reading trackers or full journal flip throughs. So click or tap on that one and I'll see you over there.